Good morning. It is day 18 of Vlogmas. It is Friday and the boys have their last class online this afternoon before Christmas break. Glenn has today off of work and so it is very exciting. I'm just feeling like the holidays are finally here and I'm kind of excited. Thank you so much for all of the really sweet comments yesterday. Um, it was really, really nice. That's one of my favorite things to do at night is just kind of go through the comments and um, it's just been really, really nice. So I wanted to say thank you. So far today, I've just been cleaning up a little bit and I put the robot vacuum on in my kitchen when I was all done and you probably saw it caught one of my favorite plants because it was dragging on the floor and it basically dragged the plant around the whole kitchen, dirt everywhere, uh, my pot was smashed. I was not a happy person. I actually had to call Glenn because I couldn't even look at it. I was just so, <sighs> anyways, it's all fixed now. Cleaned up, I found another pot in the basement. My plant is okay. Luckily, I think it's going to survive that little adventure it went on. And, oh, I also knit the heel flap on my first Advent sock, so I'm very happy that I finally got through that. That is my, I think, my least favorite part. I really like the heel turn and the gusset and the rest of it, but the heel flap is just where I seem to get stuck. So that's done. I didn't share yesterday, but I had cast on for my Land of Sweets cowl, so I think I might pick that up and work on that a little bit later today. Camden has asked to maybe watch a movie or something later this afternoon so we will see it's going to be i think a really good relaxing day i'm going to start making those christmas baking lists because i have two cookies that i make every year but this year i think i want to add in a fudge and maybe one other new thing so i'm gonna pace it out for the week maybe do one or two this weekend one or two at the beginning of next week and we always enjoy a chocolate chip panettone on Christmas morning. It's just one of those things that I really like having. We've always had them around growing up. Um, my dad is Italian and he loves his panettone. But because I haven't been to some of the same shops that I usually go to, I haven't been able to find my favorite one. And... I got to thinking, I think I'm just going to make my own. I found a recipe online that looks very good. I have a pan and I am all set. So I'm going to be sharing that. I'm not sure what day I'm going to do it. I would love to do a test run, but at the same time, I don't really want to make a panettone now and then make another one like Christmas Eve for Christmas morning. I just think, I don't know. So we'll see. I might just do it on Christmas Eve morning. I really prefer a chocolate panettone over the traditional ones that have raisins and dried fruits in it. I consider myself a pretty easygoing eater. I will eat almost anything, but there is something about soggy, chewy raisins that I just, I can't even handle them. I love an oatmeal raisin cookie. I can eat raisin bran, but put raisins into like a carrot cake or I don't know, all of those like Christmas kind of dishes that have soggy, chewy raisins and I am not having it. Did you know there's actually raisin pie? That when I discovered that when I worked in a grocery school, school, a grocery store, when I was in high school, I almost died when I saw that. I know, Meg, you're probably laughing at me because we've had this conversation. She knows about my hate of baked goods with raisins in it. So anyways, I'm going to do a chocolate version and I think it's going to be delicious. Um, I will share the recipe uh, when I get going on it and print it out and everything. And maybe you guys will want to bake one along with me. Maybe we can get it organized and do that on Christmas Eve. Okay. Oh, I have something else to share. I've had a few questions during this Vlogmas about what I'm wearing on my lips. 
and I have shared these before. They are old favorites. I think I actually shared them last year's Vlogmas, but I thought I would recap in case you were wondering. They are just all-time favorite products for me, and I don't really wear lipstick, especially when I'm home, because I don't know, I just don't. But I always start in the morning when I do my makeup with some Blistex or um, my Nooks lip balm, just so that my lips are conditioned. And then I might just put a little bit of the these really sheer lip glosses on. So this is one of my favorites. It is Fit Glow Beauty. And the color of this one is Bliss. It's super sheer, but it has a little hint of color and some shimmer. And then my other favorite that I've shared a lot is Bobbi Brown, and it's Bellini. So those are the two lip glosses that I will most likely be wearing in any video that you've seen. And another favorite that I've shared before is the Fresh Sugar Lip Balms. This one is Rose, and um, I also use the Nude one. I think it's Nude. So those are just my favorite lip balms and I wear them pretty much every day. If you're not sure, it's definitely one of these. Here is some of my progress on my Advent socks. So I've got the heel flap put into one of them. And once I get that completely done with the heel turn and the gusset and get my stripes going again, I will do the same on the other sock and I'm not really putting pressure on myself to finish them by Christmas because I feel like Boxing Day and the week after Christmas is just the perfect time to do knitting and watch movies and eat all of the treats. So that is my progress. And I wanted to share one other thing. I got a call from my mom the other day telling me that her brother, my uncle Richard and my aunt Irene, they had their home featured in a magazine and I didn't have the magazine. I wasn't sure where to get it. So I just looked it up online and I found a PDF of it and it is so beautiful. They've been working on their home for a few years. It's in the Our Homes magazine, which I think is, um, I, it might even just be dropped off at people's homes like for free. I'm not too sure, but I did find it on the um, Our Homes online and they're in the berry area so if you wanted to have a peek you could probably find it there but this is their beautiful farmhouse that they have been working on for years and they have um done such a beautiful job there they are that's my uncle richard and aunt irene they are the best i miss them we have not been able to see them in quite some time and they've just done, like it looks different from when I was there last. It looks gorgeous. They're very talented. They do a lot of this themselves. That looks like the perfect spot for guests, Uncle Richard and Aunt Irene. We might be coming. Call us. <laughs> and um, I think it was up here. This is actually the barn on their premises too, or on their property. It's stunning. We went for a weekend once and we brought our trailer and we parked it right beside the barn over here. It was so much fun. It's just beautiful. So this was very exciting. I've just been enjoying reading the article about what they've been doing there, a little bit on the history of their home. And I'm just, I, I just love it. It's so nice to see them in here. So I just wanted to share that because how beautiful. All right, I have one other thing to share that is very exciting. I did a little Christmas swap with Catherine from Bed of Roses. She is such a lovely maker in Norway. She makes beautiful project bags and um, these gorgeous necklaces with progress keepers on them. I've talked about her before. And this was on my doorstep this morning. I am really not sure if she has received my package yet, but I am so excited. I'm just about to open it. So I thought I would share how beautifully packaged this was before I tear into everything. I have to admit, I am the worst gift wrapper ever. Like, look at how beautiful this is. I really don't enjoy wrapping, but I can really appreciate someone that does. So I'm gonna open this up.
Oh my gosh, you guys, I am just speechless. I have been savoring every package here, opening them up slowly and just soaking it all in because this is such a beautiful gift that everything was just so thoughtful and just even the way she packaged it. Catherine is just... I don't know. She's just amazing. So thank you so very much, Catherine. I did not expect you to send me this much. I am so grateful. What a beautiful package to receive for Christmas. I am just blown away. So I want to share with you because I can just see how much, you know, attention to detail she puts into everything she does. And she actually has included a coupon code for you guys. So I'm going to share that. I just want to share what she sent me. Um, so she does make these beautiful project bags. This is polka dots with a red backing, which would be so perfect for a winter or holiday project. And it came with this beautiful um, needle cozy or needle minder. I noticed she has like D rings on everything so you can attach them um, or attach your stitch markers to it. And she also included this beautiful bag that it looks to me like clouds. This beautiful mustard color. It's like a linen or a cotton linen back. They are spacious and soft and just so beautifully made. I absolutely love them. So that was so, that would have been more than enough. But she also sent me one of her beautiful necklaces. And I have a couple of her necklaces already. I wear them often. They are some of my absolute favorite pieces. I have to admit, I don't actually use them very much for the stitch markers unless I'm in a pinch because they just look so beautiful to wear on these cords. So it's like a long leather cord. This one looks like a blush color. And it has a bird, which is one of my favorite things. And these little charms that are stamped with an S. Oh, they're so pretty. Such gorgeous work. She is so talented. So she gave me this beautiful necklace along with one to give away. So I'm going to think about how I'm going to do a giveaway. I was also given a pattern at the beginning of Vlogmas to give away. And I think I might wait um, until next week and do a giveaway because I noticed I recently reached 15,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is kind of amazing kind of shocking. So I've been thinking about putting together a package and I will definitely include this beautiful necklace. I didn't open it. I'm just going to wait because it looks so beautiful. And when I talk about the giveaway, I will give a sneak peek at what necklace she's included for the giveaway. So thank you, Catherine, for including that for the giveaway. And while I'm talking about that, I think I will share this coupon code that she has given so generously for 10% off your next order. I don't know if you can read it there, but the code is me-time. So me time. And um, there's a note here. I'm not quite sure what that minimum amount is in Norwegian dollars, um, but this is good until next year. So you can check out her shop. I will put a link to her shop in the description box. She's called Bed of Roses. And you should totally take advantage of this if you are looking for a beautiful bag or a necklace with stitch markers on it. I'm keeping all of these bits and pieces. One of them had a beautiful charm, so I'm going to take that off to use on my knitting as well, or maybe put it on one of the bags. But she's also sent something to really treat myself, which is so beautiful, this cup and saucer. I love the lines of this. It is so beautiful and I love the color too. It is, um, this was what was in the little box. It's Viva, I think. It's a Scandinavian brand. It looks absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. I'm really going to enjoy having a cup of tea in this. And she also sent this tea, which I've never heard of, and I couldn't quite tell what the flavor was because um, it's not in English, but I did open it. And 
it actually has the smell of, let me just smell it to remind myself. Like it almost smells fruity, which I love. I love a good fruity light tea and that smells amazing. So I'm not sure what kind it is, but it smells delicious. I'm really looking forward to making a cup and look at this container, it's stunning. Oh my gosh, and then some of these um, raspberry almonds and chocolate licorice candies. What a treat, feeling so grateful right now. Thank you so much, Catherine, I appreciate you so much and the creativity you bring into this community is absolutely inspiring and i hope that you guys will take advantage if you see something you like to check out her shop and use a code for 10 percent off so thank you so much catherine have you guys ever not been feeling well and you set yourself up on the couch with all of your favorite things or the things that you want to keep nearby well, I'm not sick, but I feel like I'm doing that. I feel like a squirrel gathering all of its little treats because I've got all my cookbooks here ready to flip through and I just need a notepad to jot down any recipes I might want to try this year. I printed out the chocolate studded panettone recipe that I found that looks really good. It was from the alexandracooks.com website. So if you're interested in making one, you can go check that out. I've got everything I need to make it. I've got my beautiful basket of minis here for my Land of Sweets cowl. I started with candy cane and I cast on the other night and it's already looking so pretty. I cannot wait to get into this project. I'm really excited about it. I think a scrappy project is just what I need right now. I have some of my favorite things nearby. My iPad is there if I need it. And I brought down my Felix sweater because I have not woven in the ends yet. I think I've just forgotten about it and I'd like to get it out of the way. So I'm going to do that first. I've got my notions pouch here with all my little bits and pieces and my scissors and I've got my darning needles. So that is what I'm going to do next. But I have just had a really exciting day today. I'm feeling very lucky. And after that plant being torn down, I kind of thought it was going to be a bad day. This is just a pile of things Glenn is returning. I thought it was going to be a bad day, but it's actually turning out to be quite nice. There was a little visitor from an elf and there was this beautiful bag on my front porch and I couldn't figure out who it was, but I had a little peek at our ring camera. could swear that's Christina from the Cozy Knitter who just stopped by and dropped this beautiful package. I know she probably heard me mention that I couldn't find any more of these mushrooms from Canadian Tire for my tree and so she sweetly popped those in a bag with one of our favorite chocolates and this beautiful ornament that she has been making on her Vlogmas. If you have not been watching you totally should check it out. I am just going to go put this on my tree right now.